Clocks, they're not only good for you to meet a friend at a specific time, they're also used to synchronize networks like cell phone networks or GPS navigation relies on it. To build a clock, you need some kind of frequency reference. You could think of a, of a pendulum in a grandfather's clock. If you try to build two clocks which are the same, you will fail because you will never be able to manufacture two pendula which are exactly the same, which have the same length and tick at the same rate. Luckily, quantum mechanics gives us frequency references that are absolutely identical everywhere. These are the optical transitions in atoms. Yeah? If you have a certain transition in an atom, you need a laser beam of a certain frequency to drive this transition. And if you build clocks based on the frequency of these laser beams driving these optical transitions, then if you build one uh, based on strontium atoms in Amsterdam, or one in Beijing, or one in another galaxy, these clocks will all tick exactly at the same rate. So what do you need to build an atomic clock? You need to be able to measure these transitions in these atoms very precisely. And you can't do this if the atoms are in a thermal gas, like here, the air in the room whizzing about with hundreds of meters per second. You can't observe the atoms long enough. So you need to cool these atoms essentially to stand still before you observe them. And we do this in machines such as this one. Deep inside is a vacuum chamber in which we cool a gas of strontium atoms using laser cooling. You see here uh, mirrors which direct the laser beams onto the atoms and they just uh, go through from an oven and then down here and down in the middle here they are cooled to uh, like below one microkelvin temperature. And at the end, we can just use standard techniques, optical frequency comps, to measure the frequency of the laser beam and feed this into electronics and do whatever we want with this frequency signal, make the hands uh, of a clock move. And if you build an optical clock like this, the best ones in the world, they go wrong by one second of the age of the universe.